what is the best time to study? Because I think it matters if you are trying to study and you can't focus or you're tired or you're hungry or there are distractions, it's not a good time to study. It's not. So in this video, I want to talk about what I think is the best time to study. For everyone, this is going to be different because everyone has busy lives. Some people watching this video have jobs. Some people watching this video have families, significant others. Some people watching this video might have multiple classes and just all of the above. You know, they might have a family, responsibilities, a job, multiple courses, etc. So the best time to study is really going to depend on when you can allocate time to study. But let's just pretend for a moment that you could somehow allocate a portion of your day to study. Let's pretend for a moment that your responsibilities don't exist. When is the best time of the day to study? In my opinion, it's the morning. And I'm not really a morning person. I, I drink a lot of coffee when I wake up. And after I drink coffee, I'm fine. But without coffee, I, you know, I, I, can't, I can't function very well. I need coffee to, to function. As Paul Erdos used to say, a mathematician is a machine for turning coffee into theorems. Paul Erdos was a famous Hungarian mathematician who would go door to door uh, you know, to different mathematicians' homes and universities and knock on their door and say, my mind is open. And he was a brilliant man who published a lot of papers and a lot, he has a lot of cool proofs. I've read some of his proofs and they're pretty amazing. In any case, I don't mean to derail, but I think the best time to do mathematics is in the morning. And that's because that's when your mind is fresh. I can't think of how many times in the past I've stayed up super, super late trying to, you know, absorb something or trying to prove something. I end up staying up till three in the morning and going to bed and waking up early the next day and feeling terrible all day because I was up all night cramming and I still didn't get it. For me, it works better if I go to bed at a decent hour, wake up early, you know, have some coffee, some breakfast, maybe, and then just do some math. And that, that really helps. That really helps. Even on test days, you know, you get up early before a test and grind out some problems. Maybe just look at your notes. Don't burn yourself out. It really, really makes a difference. There, there is something about the morning. You know, your mind is fresh. It's ready to learn. It's open. And I think it sticks better. There's this old saying in Spanish. I'll, I'll just say it here in Spanish. It says, El que madruga, Dios lo ayuda. And translated... Uh, roughly, that means uh, he who stays up late is, you know, blessed by God in some sense, right? That's, and it's, it's basically saying, you know, the person who is going to put in some extra effort is going to be rewarded in some way. Now, madruga doesn't necessarily mean stay up late. It could also mean get up really early. And that's how I interpret it. I interpret it as, you know, get up really early, you know, at the crack of dawn, 5 a.m. and start grinding out math problems. So I, I think for me, that is the best time to study. And I've tried studying at all hours, you know, the middle of the day, the morning, middle of the night. There was times when I was in graduate school that I would wake up in the middle of the night and I was stuck on a math problem and I would go to my kitchen and I just had the kitchen table in one chair. That's all I had. It's really, really uh, stoic. I don't know if that's the right word, stoic setting. And I would just do mathematics, you know, three in the morning, wake up and start doing math. Just crawl out of bed and grab a piece of paper, half asleep. I gotta figure this proof out. What is going on? It's like an obsession, but it works out better when you have like a structured life. You go to bed early, you wake up, and you do a little bit of math every day, preferably in the morning. The morning is also good because if you have a busy life, that's one place where you might be able to squeeze in an extra 10 minutes. Let, let's just pretend that you go to school and you work and you have kids and you have a significant other and you're just super, super busy, right? How do you find the time to do math when you're so busy. Well, you get up just a little bit earlier, right? And just give yourself a little bit more time in the morning and do those problems. And, and it sticks with you better, I think, when you do math in the morning. That's my experience. What do you think? Do you think the best time to do mathematics is in the morning? Do you think a different time is better? Again, different people have different opinions when it comes to stuff like this, but in my experience, that has been the way to go. And, and even on test days, 
on test days, what I would do is I would get up really early, like four in the morning, and I'd, I'd have coffee. And I'd make a big breakfast. I'd make eggs and bacon and just, you know, four slices of bread, a bunch of hot cocoa or some cafe con leche, which is um, it's like, you know, milk with coffee and sugar. And uh, I, I would just grind. I would grind. Now, when I got to class, well, I was in the class. I would still continue to look up my notes. Even up to the point, you know, up until that very point where I had to clear my desk because the test was being handed to me, I, w- I would study. And that really helps, right? Just seeing it in the morning, doing math in the morning, I think it makes a difference. But yeah, kind of a random video, but I wanted to make it because maybe you can help someone. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.